Hi, I'm Patrick Wright with Hey Good Homes, and today we're going to go and take a, uh, have a visit with Atlantic Appliance and Hardware. Uh, they are our trade partner that helps all of our clients select their appliances. We're going to meet with Wayne, uh, who's been in the business for 17 years, and unlike other builders, we really want to know uh, how you're going to cook, what you're going to cook, the layout of the kitchen, so on and so forth. Wayne's been working with Haygood for a number of years. is really good at talking to clients and offering his expertise about the best alternative that's possible. Let's come on inside. Oh, there's Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Hi, good to see you. How are you, sir? Good to see you. So I want to sit there today and I want to talk a little bit about Atlantic Appliance, how long they've been around, um, you know, kind of ownership of the company, and then kind of walk us through a typical meeting you may have with okay. a client from Haygood. And, sure. and lastly is what differentiates you from maybe other builders or other appliance stores and things of that nature. Can sure. we do that? Sure. Be glad awesome. to. Awesome. All right. Um, so uh, our business has been here since uh, 1948, uh, started as a hardware business. Um, we have the two owners here. We have the Edward side of the family, and we also have the Tiller side of the family. Um, so we have a really good network of people. Most of the people here, uh, of our employees and salespeople, have been employed here for quite some time, average anywhere from 10 to 20 years. Wow. We probably have about over 200 years of experience on the floor of actual what we have as far as um, you know, actual knowledge you know, to be able for a customer to come in and be able to say, ask us, what do you suggest? What's, what do you know is good? And, and that sort of thing. So, um, how, how big a facility showroom do you have here? So our showroom is about 7,000 square feet. Wow. Um, we have uh, most of the appliances kind of spread out in different departments. Okay. We have our hardware department over in the left uh, corner over there. Um, that's more for door hardware and, and your uh, bath hardware and that sort of thing. Okay. So we do sell that stuff as well. Um, but a lot of cool innovations coming out. I'll show you a few things today. Excellent. And uh, then we can kind of jump into it. Any other questions about the business itself? Are you compensated more for selling a Sub-Zero than you are, you know, a, a KitchenAid? We, we are not. So uh, most everyone in here is a non-commissioned salesperson. Wow. So, uh, we it is our job to find what's best for you and your budget. So if you come in here with a five thousand dollar budget, I can show you this. If you come in here and you want a forty thousand dollar Sub Zero Wolf or a Thermador <laughs> kitchen, we can also supply that as well. So wow. we can do either way. Wow. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Come on. So around this corner, we've got uh, uh, some, a lot of cool things. This is our Thermador section. Um, we've just recently updated this. One of the differences that you will find in our showroom is our displays typically do not stay uh, the same no more than probably nine months to 12 months before wow. we rotate. As new models come out, we will go ahead and rotate the floor. A lot of cool different things uh, that we sell from side swing door ovens now to behind you that's a great piece um so this particular piece is a coffee system so this makes coffee and it makes cappuccinos and it makes all the we need one for hey good all, this, mm -hmm. all the all the, all the cool drinks and that sort of thing pops open you can put your own beans uh in here uh fill your water tank uh if you need and the other thing that kind of separates us and one of the things that folks enjoy is if they need product knowledge, if they need somebody to say, hey, Wayne, I bought this thing. I don't know how to use it. You know, it's a little, it's a little complicated. Can you come help me? Sure, we'll be glad to come out to the house and we'll show, show you how to use it wow. and, and that sort of thing. So uh, some of the other things are microwave drawers that open and close. Um, so it gives you the ability to locate that in highlands at different locations, that sort of thing. Side swing oven doors. You know, a lot of people are liking more of the side swing than the, than the pull down door. Man. So, you've got That's a lot, lot of different cool things, a lot of different, so different, different options. Am I reading this correct? We have Wi Fi capability for your appliances now? Yes. So, uh, <laughs> a lot of appliances, most, matter of fact, most of the appliances here now are Wi Fi enabled in some way, shape, or form. 
Um, the, I just recently moved and my new Samsung refrigerator will actually give me notifications, let me know when the water filter needs to be changed. Somebody went in the refrigerator, what's new? When new food, I can label food and let them know, okay, I put this hamburger in here three days ago, it's set to go bad on this day, and it would give me a notification, wow. your hamburger's about to expire. That's awesome. That sort of thing. So a lot of other things, alerts like washers and dryers to let you know your, your, your laundry's done, that sort of thing. What trends are you seeing now in appliances in general? Um, Anything that's really kind of... Uh, colors are starting to come back. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, uh, but only in, typically in, only in the accent pieces, meaning like a range. You see the white KitchenAid range that we have down there. Um, they are making that in like a, what's called a misty blue or a coastal blue, okay. which is an option. And greens and reds and yellows and stuff where there's like one particular piece in the oven, you know, in the kitchen that say um, designated color piece and then all the rest may be stainless because that particular piece has some stainless on it. So um, that, the Wi-Fi technology, you know, just, you know, a lot of different new stuff that is just blows my mind all the new stuff that comes out all the time. Can I buy a washer and dryer? I mean, that's not part of the Hey Good package, right? Right. But can I buy a washer and dryer from you? Yes. So our, wash, our laundry department is right behind that wall. Um, we will typically, 99.9% .9 of the time, be able to match Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, I mean, all the big box stores. The benefit that you have from buying um, one from Hey Good and one from us is, you know, I look out for you for the for a long period of time, two years typically, from the time of the selection process going through. If you have any you know, questions or changes, new models may come out during that time that you're building your home. Sure. The delivery process. Have our guys come in. We deliver. Our delivery people typically have been employed with us over ten years. We use. Uh, you know, booties on our, on our shoes, and we use protective mats, and uh, we get a lot of com uh, com uh, compliments yeah. about, you know, our delivery. our delivery folks. And they do a really good job. After that, once it's installed, uh, for the very first year, I handle all the warranty. You don't call an 800 number. You don't call the store. I give you my personal cell number that you call me directly. I send the receipts to the servicer. Servicer calls you, don't, and it's completely handled. Wow. Wow. What a great benefit that is. Yes. Absolutely. And if you know, we talked a little bit about previous videos about the people, the product, and the process. And this is a, another great example of the people, someone like Wayne that has 17 years of experience in a company that's been around for, for, for many, many years, and then certainly the, uh, the warranty aspect of it and such. So uh, they've been a great trade partner. Let's go down and take a look at... Okay. Uh, that's some KitchenAid. You know, we specify KitchenAid. Yep. So here's a house uh, that we're building in St. James. Okay. So I brought in the floor plans. All right. And this house looks like they want to do an oven microwave. Hmm. Um, it looks like a slide in range, it looks like. Okay. And then a cabinet depth refrigerator. So this is a general idea of how the base plans are going to be. Now they're going to come visit you relatively early on in the process. Why do they want to come visit you early on instead of at the very end? Um, well, it, primarily for planning purposes, especially like for counter depth and full depth refrigerators, okay. cabinets being the main reason. Okay. Uh, cabinets take quite a while to order. Uh, everything has to be sized accordingly to make sure that it looks properly. Um, and you know, just to be able to be ahead of everybody. And, uh, we are unfortunately right now, in uh, a COVID-19 coronavirus situation where um, we're very short on appliances. A lot of manufacturers are have shut down plants and that sort of thing. So what we have tried to do as a company is buy way ahead of time. Wow. So we can bring that merchandise into our warehouse to make sure that they, uh, when you call and you need it, it's there. Perfect. And I've had several customers, dozens of customers that have called, is my stuff there? Yes, ma'am. It's in the warehouse. It's ready to go. As soon as awesome. the superintendent calls, we'll have it out there. You know, there's some things that unfortunately we haven't had. Uh, dishwashers or certain things. Well, what we do in a situation like that is we upgrade the customer at no charge. Wow. So that's impressive. We, we, we try to take care that's of them. Impressive. So uh, in a situation like this, uh, you know, I would show somebody a freestanding range. And then first, my first question to them is, what is your budget? 
you know, because those are big things. Yeah. You know, I'm not one to sell somebody, come and show somebody a $5,000 range if their budget's $6,000. Right. Okay, right. so, you know, I have two different ranges, for instance. This particular range is a 30-inch dual fuel range. Uh, matter of fact, we put this in some of your models. Yeah. It's what, a great What is dual fuel? What does that mean? Great question. So, dual fuel means gas top and electric oven. So what uh, you guys will do is you will supply a gas line that runs the top, and then you'll have an electric oven. Electric ovens actually uh, have a lot better, e more even heat, oh. and less hot spots, that sort of thing. Huh. Most people prefer cooking with the gas because of the preciseness of gas. It, it, you, know, it's, you can go from a boil to a simmer very quickly. Uh, during the hurricanes that we had during Hurricane Florence uh, two or three years ago, on my range at home, it was dual fuel. I couldn't use my oven, but I could take a big stick and still light my top, and I could still cook with my house. So That's awesome. Those are important yeah, things to think about. That's awesome. Um, so, again, 30-inch option. If a customer says, you know what, I want to step up it a little bit, and uh, this is going to be our forever home. So, so, we, so we can go to a 36-inch more professional range. Freestanding. Freestanding. Wow. Yeah. And so... A customer could come and they said, well, you know, I like white, but um, tell me about this new coastal blue. You know, what color cabinets are you going to have? And that's when I sit down with them and I say, hey, well, you know, are you going to have dark, dark color cabinets or white cabinets or what are you going to have? So I can kind of try and help them through that process. Do people share with you that they entertain a lot or cook a lot? I mean, is that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's what, and that's one of the questions that I'll ask them. I'm like, you know, because some people, to be honest with you, they cook three, four times a week. I have a lot of folks that. Uh, from the up north that are Italians that come down here and they love to cook, you know, and I wish I could go and eat at their house, to be honest with you, get that invitation. But, you know, if they're cooking three or four nights a week, they want something serious that they can cook on and they know it has the performance. Sure. Uh, KitchenAid does a really good job of that. Um, and, and then we just try to make sure that we're qualifying the customer to what they need. Excellent. You know, I don't, I don't want to put something in somebody's house that they don't need, Excellent. but I don't want to undersell them either. I've had a lot of people lately that have gone, instead of having a microwave over, certainly we, we, can, we do a lot of these. Sure. And we do vented microwaves. So yep. we're venting everything outside. We don't recycle. Yes. But more and more people seem to like this idea. Maybe it's because of bending over, because, you know, this is kind of, if you get a little older, bending all the way down here. Talk to me about the wall oven, whether it's a double wall oven or a wall oven microwave combo. Right. Um, we actually probably your customers and probably most of my builder customers that, that I have um, We they want Separate they want built-in appliances built-in appliances in a home kitchens and bath sale houses have the biggest resale value as you know sure. so The kitchen is that wow factor. We all we all congregate around the island. We all socialize we all eat and drink and have fun so uh, typically gas cooktops are your number one sellers and then typically the, the combos like this. Uh, this is in a 30 inch, and then you can go to a 36. So we give the, we give the, we won't have two on display for a customer to be able to say, yeah. okay, well I've got a big old pasta pot. It might not fit on that one, but it fits better on this one. <laughs> okay. So Excellent. We, we do that. Excellent. The combos are probably our number one SKU that we sell. I probably have about 200 of these in St. James or Cups Point. Um, this is shown in the black stainless, which is another color option that, beautiful. Uh, that we do. Shows really good on light color cabinets. Um, yeah. You can also get this in the stainless, of course. This will come in convection. I guess it has a really nice rollout out line out right so you can baste your turkey and you can, uh, you know, Put your tar temperature probe in there and it lets you know when it's reached its temperature and that sort of thing. Um, Ooh, that was pretty robust, that glide there. Oh yeah, for sure. It holds up to uh, 50 pounds. That's, so, a big, that's a big turkey. That's a big turkey. <laughs> it is. It's very big. And the cool thing with this particular piece is this can be a microwave, it can be a toaster oven, it can be a regular oven, it can steam your uh, uh, vegetables, it can do everything. Uh, and it comes all with all these cool, you know, gadgets that will come with a steamer that you see here, uh, which is very easy and simple to use. Yeah. Uh, it comes with your crisp pan that you can do bacon or you can do a piece of salmon on here. This actually has a real roll element, just like in a regular oven. So when you put this on crisp, wow. it's actually browning from the bottom and the top. Wow. Um, my kids, uh, me and the kids, uh, cook cookies the other night in our convection microwave oven. So we put our Tesla, you know, the cookies on here, as you can tell, I like cookies. <laughs> um, and we put them in here, 
They said, what, what's the time and temperature? 350 for 15 minutes. And I could challenge anyone, if I cook cookies here in this microwave versus in the oven, and I'll put them on two separate plates, if they'd be able to tell me which one was cooked where. So, the cool thing is, you're not using as much preheat time. You're cooking faster. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of your customers are empty nesters who only need smaller portions. They're not doing big turkeys or hams and that sort of thing. So, so this is a very popular piece, the, ga uh, the gas cook top. We do a lot with gas. Induction is technology that some people are familiar with and not everyone. Uh, induction cooks actually, uh, the pot is the heat source. A lot okay. of people don't really know that. So there's magnets that are underneath these. Um, and actual, what happens is the friction between the magnets and the pot causes friction. Uh, it's very safe. A lot of people would say, can I, use it? can I use it if I have a pacemaker? Yes, you sure can. Um, it has control of gas, so a lot of people really like that. Wow. The cool thing about induction is I could lay newspaper out here or paper towels and just kind of cut out a little spot right here. I can cook my spaghetti sauce or whatever else, turn it on, and if it boils over or whatever, I can take the paper towel and just throw it away. It cooks right through the paper towels or the newspaper or whatever else. Now, is induction still really expensive compared to electric um, towels? It has come down dramatically. Right. So, um, induction really s tried to start in the states in probably the early '90s. Um, they were about three or four thousand dollars for an average cooktop. Um, it's been in Europe for years. Matter of fact, in Europe, they don't even use ventilation over top of induction because um, you don't have the the heat loss with this because the pot is the heat source. Um, but they've come down significantly. I mean, we've we've got, got induction cooktops. You know, different brands in here start around fifteen hundred bucks. Average electric cooktop anywhere from nine hundred to a thousand. So for about five hundred bucks, you can get the latest in technology and have something that you can really enjoy for sure. Yeah. Let's let's uh, finish up. Let's talk about refrigerators, Wayne. Refrigerators. A lot of clients ask me um, about a cabinet depth, which is very uh, decorative, I guess. Yes. And and a full size. Sure. So this would be a cabinet depth refrigerator. On, on what does that mean, cabinet depth? Okay, so so your typical cabinets at, at all your houses in new construction are going to be 24 inches deep. Okay. That means the cabinet itself on the refrigerator is 24 inches deep, and it's not going to stick out other than just the doors. Especially when most people are in new construction. I mean, they want a more built-in, finished look. Um, if this, for instance, was a freestanding refrigerator, and I was to pull it out, I'll show you the difference. So in a freestanding refrigerator, this is what it looks like in the hole. So to me, if I want to build a four or $500,000 house with hay good, I think I prefer a counter depth over this kind of look. You get a little you get a little bit more storage space, but not a lot. Is the cabinet depth more expensive than a full size? Cabinet depth is more expensive than full size. However, people ask me this all the time. So Wayne, do I have to put this KitchenAid refrigerator with my KitchenAid package? No, you don't. Um, I sell an all, awful lot of Samsung and LG and, and other brands. One more brands as we walk around the showroom, I'll show you, are coming up with handleless designs. Wow. So there's no handles, pocket handles, so you can put it with whatever brand of wow. appliance you want. So, That's very interesting. Yep. That's very interesting. So dishwashers or dishwashers? Is there a big difference between a KitchenAid dishwasher and a... Well, that's a good question. Uh, and, and these are brands making new. They just got on the floor literally this past week. I haven't even um, got around to really... Because uh, we haven't had any live training on it yet, but <laughs> yeah. just seen it. But this is something new. So this is a third rack dishwasher that you're able to put cups up here actual full-size glasses and your silverware up top. So most of the old, the, the dishwashers of, that we used to have, this is what the third rack looked like. Oh wow. So we went from here to there. So much more storage. We it's can the get, same size box? Yes, exactly. Exact same cutout, exact same dishwasher, that, that sort of thing. All the KitchenAid dishwashers, including the dishwasher, the, their most entry-level dishwasher that KitchenAid makes is a 46 decibel dishwasher, which is completely silent. You won't hear it at all. Wow. Um, I have put many dishwashers in St. James and Compass Point, and you guys filled. Uh, all I get is they're awesome. 
you know, my, my plumber was over there doing something and I had it on. He didn't even know it was running, <laughs> you know. So, uh, you know, a lot of them have elevator racks now that you can raise and lower depending upon how tall your pots are down below. Um, and you know, down here in the bottom, plenty of space here. I can adjust this up and down, get it how I need it. I can fold down the tines. So a lot of cool different things. Isn't that nice? They've added fan drying to assist in drying now. Yeah. So you have your heating element and fans as well. Um, and just a lot of different things, like the Thermador here, which is kind of cool, is uh, pushed to open. <laughs> did, you, did you catch that, yeah. McCann? <laughs> uh, and you have, this is their uh, Blue Lights uh, Star Partner dishwasher. Um, this one will actually shine the time on your floor of how much time's left in the cycle because <laughs> other than that you would not know it's on. So a lot of cool different things in uh, different brands. Again, it depends on whatever your customer comes in here. We try to keep them in their budget as much as possible, but we also encourage them to make sure that what they put in their home they're going to enjoy. Excellent. Excellent. Well, manufacturers you carry can I give me the rundown? <laughs> yeah. you, you carry everything? I carry a lot. There's a few of them. Um, so in our GE lineup, we carry the uh, we carry standard GE, GE Profile, GE Cafe, okay. and the Monogram. Okay. Um, all of those are owned by GE or the higher corporation now. Uh, as the Whirlpool family of brands is like what we like to call them, Whirlpool owns Amana. They own Whirlpool. They own Maytag, uh, KitchenAid, and Janair. And we are a generic dealer for some pieces as well. We carry the Mila product, which you see here, which has the actual custom doors on it uh, that you know we hadn't even really kind of jumped into. But we carry Mila. We're the only Mila dealer in this in southeastern North Carolina. Okay, mm. Thermador. Uh, we carry, of course. Uh, an interesting fact: all the Thermador product that you see here, and all the Bosch product across the showroom, it's made in Newburgh, North Carolina, about an hour up the road. So oh, that's for, all, for all the products that we are able to sell, that helps our, local our state, economy. local economy, Excellent. for sure. Excellent. Yep. And then Sub-Zero's, you got Sub- and We have the Sub-Zero Wolf line, of course. Uh, we have LG. We have Samsung. Uh, we have the LG Signature Series, which is their premium upper end now. They're getting into the, the more premium line of appliances. And then we just carry uh, just a bunch of other stuff, like under-counter stuff, like the, the, the True Products. That are more professional products, under counter uh, beverage centers, and uh, we do outdoor kitchens as well. Sell the grills with Artisan and and several other manufacturers. So Wilmington Grill, and I saw well, some green eggs coming in here. Yes, yes, yeah. I think. Um, can I buy green? If I buy appliances, can I also buy? You can a buy grill? a grill. You can buy a big green egg. We can <laughs> buy everything, and we try to strive to make sure that you get the best price possible and be as competitive as possible Excellent. with everyone else. Excellent. For sure. Well, as you can see. Wayne knows his knows his stuff. Has been in the business a long time. Atlantic Appliance and Hardware. It's a fantastic trade partner. And once again, it's the process. It's the people. It's the product. Great product. Great people. Great process. But thank you again, Wayne, for taking some time to talk to us a little about sure. what you do and how passionate you are with, with your product and such. If you have any questions, feel free to to uh, look at our website, HeyGoodHomes.com, or give us a call at the office. But thank you again for joining us today.